Hello, everybody. What up, what up, what up? It's been seven months since I've touched up my roots. And today is the day we're going to go from this. Okay, y'all see all this? Look at all that. Look at all that. Seven months of growth. To this. All of this. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay? All right. This is very stylish. In a vegan kind of world, I'm so proud of my curls. Very stylish. I hope you can vibe with me. But first, have you subscribed yet? Have you hit that bell to let you know when I have a new video out? Come on. And let's go. Okay, so today we are going to be doing a medium copper brown on my roots because I want to fade out this color. I want an ombre effect. So I'm going to be doing a medium copper brown on my roots and I'm going to blend that into a light copper brown, which is the color pretty much I have on the ends as like my highlights. So like when it starts to grow out, I'll have like three colors coming in play. You know what I'm saying? So all I have to do is touch up my roots. I never have to do my ends. So yeah, I'm using the Color Brilliance Eye on Mine from Sally Beauty. My friend Raymond Torregano, he suggested this in June of last year. The last time I colored my hair, including my roots, which I don't know if I did that good of a job, honestly and truly. So now I know what to do even better. Um, the last time I did my roots was August of last year. So it's been almost eight months, seven months, eight months. So I feel like I'm ready for a refresh. And I think I'm going to go darker with like lighter tips only because I want it to be more of an um, ombre. And I'm trying to figure out if I want my grays to come in and just embrace my grays. But we shall see. So let's get started. Y'all ready? I think I'm ready. I hope I'm ready. I'm ready, ready, I think. So first I'm starting with my, I'm gonna do both of these and equal, equal amounts of volume 20 developer. Um, uh, everything is vegan, cruelty free. Um, and I was talking to a Sally uh, worker who's also like a cosmetologist and was telling me, what to look out for and things like that. I also have red copper. I have medium copper blonde as well, which I could use as the go-between between medium copper brown, then medium copper blonde, then light copper blonde. So I could also do that where it's like here is medium copper brown, then medium copper blonde, and then the roots are light copper blonde. So if I'm feeling good, I might do that, but we'll see. We'll see, I'm gonna mix in glass bowls, okay, in non-metallic uh, mixers, and I'll come back and not wipe, and not wipe. All right, so I am starting with the darkest color first, right? Starting with that first, then right here, I'm gonna do medium copper blonde, then I'm gonna do light copper blonde at the end, so I can have like a, dark to light kind of thing happening. Okay, y'all, it's a little darker than I thought it was gonna be, but I know once I rinse it out, it's gonna be good. I should have gotten more dark medium cop, medium brown because I kind of ran out when I got to this section. So I had to do medium copper blonde in the back. So I'm gonna let it set for like 20 more minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out. I mean, I'm gonna wash it out and condition and all that stuff, so yeah. Okay, everybody, it's, I think, I think it's where I want it. I think it's where I want it. So, I washed my hair with, I did wash my hair, I did, because I didn't want it to have that look of like, I just colored it. Well, y'all can see, once I do this washing, washing set. But I use the Color Defend shampoo, and I'm about to use this color, Defense Moisturizer. It's all Sally Ion. You don't see that. Okay. I colored my roots so they're more coppery bound. And I colored 
my ends so that they are more coppery at the, so as it starts to get like, you know, as I start to wash it out or as I start to like shampoo my hair, you know, over the course of, you know, a, a month or so, you'll be able to see the ombre effect. And you can see it now, but I didn't want to dye my roots a light color again. I kind of wanted a highlight effect so that all I have to do is kind of just retouch up my roots if I want to, and I can leave my hair light on the bottom. Okay, the hair is set, and let's see how it dries. I think it's gonna be nice. I think I just warmed it up a little bit, but I think it's gonna be good. So let me sit under this dryer, take this off my nose, and show y'all the end results. I think. It's Okay, everybody, so this is the final look. My hair, I don't know if you could tell the difference, but I love it. I love it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. It's not really glam because whatever, but face card never declines. Bye. Okay, I don't know if you could tell, but yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that, that, okay, I can tell the difference now. I can totally tell the difference. That looks good, don't it? Don't it look good, y'all? That looks good, okay. Gotta go, gotta go. I think that looks hella good. Hella, hella good. Okay.